Hey guys, welcome to our second, I think it's our second unboxing video here on the channel. The first time we ever unboxed anything I think was when we unboxed the Kingdom Hearts 3 Collector's Edition uh, that came out many, many years ago. So today we're going to do our first unboxing video of a Sonic the Hedgehog product. Um, I think this has actually been out for a couple years now. I seen it at Target and I decided to pick it up during one of our Sonic merch, uh, Sonic merch hunt adventures adventure. And so I decided to pick it up and kind of do an unboxing for it because it has like quite a bit of things going on with it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find other unboxing videos uh, for it on YouTube that are probably years old. But here in 2021, we're gonna take a look at this thing and uh, see what it's all about. So it's a Sonic the Hedgehog interactive watch. It has uh, kind of quite a bit of features on it. Um, here like on the side, like we have obviously, you know, it tells the time, there's an alarm, there's settings, uh, pedometer, um, album viewer, and then on the side, it also tells us that there's a camera, which so that sounds wild. This is like basically like a whole cell phone. Um, let's see, we, there we go. It has a camera, uh, it shoots video, there's games, um, there's a calculator and a voice recorder. So this is like a, a smartphone almost, um, just as a watch, um, minus I think the phone calls. I don't think you can, I don't think your service provider is going to um, let you get away with making phone calls on this. So uh, other than that, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty neat. Never seen anything like it um, as far as like Sonic the Hedgehog goes. So it's a little bit different kind of thing. I got a Sonic the Hedgehog watch for my nephew a while back, um, but it only told the time. And when I seen this, I was like, well, we definitely have to pick this up. As you can see, there's the price tag if it focuses in. So it'll run you about almost 40 bucks uh, if you get it from Target. I've seen a couple people post that they got it from like a, a different kind of stores. Um, and they paid a lot cheaper. Someone told me they paid like about 15 bucks for uh, this watch, which I don't want to spend $40 on a watch. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's open it up and see what what's in store. I don't want to ruin the box. I'm all about preservation, so bear with me. It looks like we have some tape here. It might I open right from the bottom. So the box feels pretty, pretty standard. Um, you know, packaging for a lot of people who, who do any kind of reviews or unboxing, packaging is a big deal. The packaging feels pretty standard. Uh, yep, yeah, it does open right from the bottom there. Uh, we're still attached with a piece of tape. But let's see, pull it out just like that. Just set the box there, and there we have it. Here's, here's the watch. The watch itself. It looks like it's also uh, held together with some stuff. Here we have the instructions. So we're gonna need them. I I don't know how to work this watch, so I'll probably pause the video <laughs> and learn how to watch uh, how to use the watch. So this is. Uh, instructions for the interactive watch with it comes a charger so you won't be needing your standard watch batteries to use this thing you'll just plug it up and play essentially now this this packaging is always a pain in the pain in the rear to open up i don't think we have any choice but to kind of oh it's on oh okay this is what we can do Can end up breaking this watch by the time uh, we get it out. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, see, we already broke it. No, I think that just just pops right back on like that. Okay, look at it. It's our Sonic the Hedgehog watch. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel extremely cheap. 
this band on it. Um, it's a lot shorter than I thought. It is supposed to be for kids, obviously. It's pretty small. I don't. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Oop, I don't know if it's gonna fit my arm. Let's actually. Let's actually check. Um, now this part feels extremely cheap. Not gonna lie. This feels very, very cheap. Uh, it feels like I, at any point, if like it just, like if you smack your arm on something or it gets caught, this feels like it's gonna rip right off. This, I don't know. It's very, very cheap. Uh, let's see if it fits my arm though. I have a smaller hand, smaller guy, so. Let's see. Okay, so it does fit my wrist, barely. We are literally on the last little uh, thing there. So it barely fits my arm. I am a fairly small guy though. Like I can fit children's clothes. So it's no no surprise that this fits me. But any anyone with bigger arms than me for any one who's a little bit bigger than me that you will not be able to fit this. This is like more, <laughs> it's pretty small. Um, but that's okay. Get it for your 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 nephew, your your son, your daughter, your niece. Uh, they'll definitely uh, they'll like this. I think um, it definitely feels more on the cheap side. Definitely, just by the quality um, of the watch itself, the way it feels. I don't think it's exactly worth forty bucks quite yet. But we haven't gotten to the features yet, so uh, I'm going to read the manual. Actually, this thing tears off, so that's just like a little screen thing um, it comes right off and then that's the actual watch so I'm gonna learn how to use this watch and then I'll be right back with you all right so we're back and we just finished charging up the watch it took a little bit over an hour to charge and it's it's still not fully charged yet but I wanted to get the review out there as, uh, as quick as possible um, so I while I was charging I took a look at the instruction manual and I actually really dig this instruction manual. It's very helpful and pretty self-explanatory. I like the um, the icons that it gives, and it just it really makes using this watch very easy. Um, if you get it for like your you know your kids or uh, just just anyone younger, really, um, they won't really have the hardest time figuring out this watch situation um, because it's pretty pretty easy. However, the downside. To, to this thing is that it's all in English unfortunately. I was expecting there to be a another manual in here or at least like the other side in another language but that's not the case. It's all it's all in English so if English isn't really your native language or if you can't speak English at all uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Um, fortunately programming and using the watch is pretty self-explanatory the only thing is that there's no language setting in the watch either, um, but if you do speak English, you won't have a hard time figuring this out. It'll be very easy. Um, you might not even need the manual except for like small things like figuring out uh, how to set the time and such. Um, but yeah, that's the manual. Next is the charger. So we looked at this just a second ago. Um, it's just USB. <laughs> You just plug this thing into your computer and you'll have it working in no time. However, just a little note, um, when I plug this into the computer, it took a little bit for it to actually start charging. So it says that in the manual that it'll start charging right away, it won't. Um, you have to give it a little bit of time before it does uh, start charging. So be aware of that. Don't take it back to Target or wherever you got it uh, if it doesn't start charging right away. Now we'll jump over to the watch. So to turn it on, uh, you press this button right here at the side, or you hold it down essentially. And it boots up and you get the Sonic screen. And that's how you know it's on and up and running. Um, I already set the time, so that's the actual time. Uh, setting the time was a little bit a little bit of a pain. My biggest critique with this thing has been so far is the touch screen kinda kinda sucks on it. Like so it's obviously meant to be for, for kids, um, but like it's not exactly responsive and there's certain games and features on here that require like a really like hitting, like I'll show you. So if we go to something like the calculator, um, pressing buttons, I mean, it's working now because well, I'm showing you, but when I was using it, um, it wasn't exactly the most responsive thing. Um, yeah, 
and it's probably because I have bigger hands, but uh, like, like I said, I was playing some of the games and have, was having a bit of a hard time uh, getting the game to do exactly what I needed it to do. Uh, it does have a nice screen on it though. It, as you can see, it's, it looks like it's somewhat clear in the camera. In real life, uh, you can literally see everything. So, you know, if you're riding in a dark area, you won't have a hard time seeing this at all. But anyways, so here's the main menu. We have games, we have the camera, the video, the pedometer, uh, album viewer, I think that says time tools, voice recorder, calculator, and the settings. So the first thing I did was click the settings. We click the settings <laughs> um, and you have, the first thing you have is some wallpapers, which is pretty neat. You can set the background. You have the, the classic, um, the standard Sonic one here. Uh, then we have Green Hill Zone. You know how we haven't gotten enough Green Hill Zone. We got to include it in the watch too. And we have like this like 30 year anniversary looking thing. Now even though this watch came out before that, it's pretty cool to see this. They included uh, pretty much like a large variety of the characters there. So that's pretty cool. I realized that um, this Sonic the Hedgehog one seems to be the best because um, when you go out to the menu, um, it's just easier to see like what the buttons are. It looks a little crazy when you do any of the other ones, like they're, they're a lot harder to read and see. So when we go to settings, we also can set the, uh, set the calendar, set the time. Uh, we can even see the storage, so all our files that we've saved in here. And then we can reset the watch, which I think just kind of clears the, clears all the data. So that way uh, you can kind of just start over from scratch. Um, then we have the brightness. So, you know, if it's too bright for whatever reason, you know, you don't want to draw attention to your Sonic the Hedgehog watch on the Metro bus, you can uh, turn it up and down. And then this, the next feature is the volume. So we can go over here. So yeah, you can you can turn it down, you can turn it up. Uh, it's really cool that they included some Sonic uh, jingles in here. It's a Sonic watch, so you'd expect to see and hear some Sonic the Hedgehog related things. We'll turn this all the way up. Now this, the sound quality isn't the greatest, but you know, you can't really expect anything from like a Bose speaker playing off your, <laughs> your little Sonic watch here. Um, but let's, uh, let's go through this. And uh, we'll start here. So uh, the first thing we have is a calculator. And I just showed you this already, but it's it's a calculator. It works. Um, it does all, all of the things. Um, obviously, if you have small fingers, this is going to be a lot. Or if you have big fingers, this is going to be pretty difficult to navigate. I have small hands already, and it's kind of difficult for me. It, it does have a voice recorder. Um, I recorded my voice earlier maybe is it saved okay hi testing one two hi 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 and this is a recording on the Sonic the Hedgehog watch and we can play it back so yeah that's it's it's something uh, we also have we have the voice recorder, we have the time tools, so there's an alarm, you can set, you know, you can have whatever alarm you want to go off. Um, okay, um, and you can even pick your ringtone, so it's a one, that's a default one for some reason. Yeah, that, wow, what a ringtone. Um, that one's a nice jingle, we'll stick with that. Um, we're gonna turn that off though. Uh, yeah, so there's an alarm on there. We also have, for your time tools, we also have a stopwatch. So, you know, have a countdown or, that's what I mean when I say the, the touch screen is a little finicky, like I just pressed it pretty hard. Um, a couple times and it just 
did not want to respond. Uh, but yeah, that's there's that. Yeah, it's a little little bit of a a struggle, especially if you have bigger hands. And then what else? And you know your timer, you could set it uh, to to an hour. It looks like or almost an hour. Um, yeah, it's a little it's a little weird. Uh, you have to touch in a certain spot for it to register, like to do the minutes. You have to touch the minute sign or the minute uh, minute part on it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. There's that. Um, and yeah, we're right back to, to that. So um, anyways, next we have the pedometer. So it should tell you how much, how many steps you run, I think. I actually haven't messed with this feature yet. Then we have, uh, we have the video camera. So there's the, there's the camera right there. Takes, you know, I, I shot like a little video here. The audio quality is not the greatest, but you know, it's a compressed video, so <laughs> don't expect much. Um, then it also takes pictures as well. And I think I just took a random, yeah, edgy early 2000s thing going on there. It's charming. I, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Um, we can also go to the camera itself and take a picture. There's the camera. Yeah, and then we have the a picture of the the camera there and let's we'll save it and then we'll go to the finder there we go that's us now the big thing that everyone is uh hyped about this watch for is the the games so this comes with a series of uh quite a few games actually more than i was expecting and the amount of content in the games is pretty pretty cool so you have this number grid uh, which is the first game where you pretty much just click the numbers in order. So like, you know, one, two, you got to find the three, uh, three, four, come on, uh, five. And you know, you just go through all the numbers and it, I guess, um, it resets, uh, randomly. So like, um, it'll change. It won't be the same order each time, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously if you have, you know, big fingers, <laughs> This will be very difficult to play, but again, if you're getting it for your kids, then, you know, it should be fine. Uh, they also have this thing. This one's a little bit harder to play. Uh, that's kind of, the menu is a little hard to see because the text is super small. Um, but there's different, this is called Fighter Pilot, and there's different difficulties you can go through. Um, oh, and you can also see your highest score, that's what that said. And this one plays music. Some of them play music, some of them don't. Um, this one's a little bit harder to play because to control it, you use your thumb. And because it's so small, um, essentially, you know, your thumb is block will be blocking the uh, your character. So this one's a little, it's a little harder to play, um, but you know, it, it gets the job done. Um, also, you know, you'll be sliding your your hand across, so you might hit things that you didn't mean to hit. Um, the next one is memory, and this is just your standard uh, memory game. Um, not much to it. There's, um, you know, there's, it, it, it's a memory game. <laughs> oh, there's different difficulties for it. Um, my memory's bad, so I'm not gonna, we're not gonna showcase that. But uh, there's different difficulties. So if we go back, uh, there's easy. Nope. medium, hard, and extreme, which is pretty, pretty cool. You can, if we can get to it. Oh, I think you have to, yeah, there we go. And then, you know, if your fingers are small enough, you can, you can do all the matches. It's pretty, pretty neat. Not expecting, you know, too much from a little watch, but there's quite a bit on here. Um, what's also cool, and I think it's the next game, 
Um, the next game uh, is called Car Chaos, and it's it's this game. I don't know if you guys ever played this like on an iPhone or from the App Store. Which honestly, these are what all the games kind of are, just like games you would you know get on an App Store from your phone for free. If you played any of the iPhone apps, then you played Car Chaos probably at some point. Um, and the cool part is, if we go to levels, or if we go to home, and we choose levels, there are so many on here. That's the first page, that's the second page. There's like a, there's a hundred levels of Car Chaos you can play on this little watch. So many levels, man. And, and this is just one game, so I, th I think the other games also like have levels, like that plain one. And so who knows how many levels are on that. And then last but not least for games, we are no, we have we have two more games. We have this one. Again, another game that came like straight out of the app store. And some of them have music, some of them don't. This one you have to try to uh, make your way to the that middle thing there. I've never been good at, you know, at these, so we're not gonna speed run it. We'll save this for the completionist. Um, yeah, this one this one works okay. Some of them work better than others. This is one of them that actually feels pretty uh, pretty good when playing it. And then last but not least, we have Snake. And it, it's it's Snake, you know. I'm assuming you know as as you play, it goes faster. Um, but you know, it's it's a fully working version of Snake. Um, this this one also doesn't seem to be very responsive. I had a lot of issues playing uh, Snake on on this watch. Um, no matter what you swipe, like I swipe down and, and now he's going up. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. This this one has quite a bit of a quite a bit of problems, but so we'll stop. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you have Snake on there, and yeah, we're back to the beginning. So. I think that's all the features we have on the watch. Yeah, so in short, just to give, to give you my impressions of the watch, or final final review on the watch, it's a pretty pretty cool watch. I, I paid about 40 bucks for it. Um, you know, for your, for, your, for your kids or whatever, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's very small, um, so like if you're getting this for yourself because you're a Sonic fan, I recommend probably not doing that unless you're doing it for collector's purposes because um, this will not fit many adults uh, so just keep that in mind if you know that's the reason why you're getting it the backlight on it's really good uh, the quality of like what or what you're getting for forty dollars is actually not bad um, especially to be occupying like you know a kid's mind during like car rides or something it's it's really really cool the my critiques with it is that it feels like extremely cheap and I feel like, like if it gets, if you're wearing it or someone's wearing it and it gets snagged, this is totally just gonna rip. You know, this part right here, the the strap will totally rip. This, the entire watch actually feels really cheap, unfortunately. 40 bucks, it's whatever, but um, just keep that in mind if you decide to pick it up. Uh, the the main thing I think that people will probably get this for is the games. And my, I think one of my biggest critique about the games is there's no Sonic games, and that, that that's a little disappointing. I was expecting Sega to go like a little bit above and beyond and include at least like one, you know, maybe a exclusive Sonic game for, for this watch. Because like the idea is really cool to have your own uh, Sonic the Hedgehog watch with, you know, a pedometer that tracks, you know, running and, and walking and stuff. So almost like a fitness watch, but also, you know, if you're, you know, for a kid that's sitting still, you want to keep them busy. Um, so this, this kind of, this watch is like perfect for that. Um, there's enough here to, to keep people or to keep kids occupied. You you will definitely grow tired of this watch unless you are playing Car Chaos. Then you know as an adult you'll spend hours upon hours playing that by itself. But yeah, so this is the Sonic the Hedgehog watch. Uh, I I would say I can't really give it a number score, but um, I would say if you're getting this for you know any kind of child, do it. It's it's definitely worth it. Uh, they'll be happy that you did, and they'll probably love you forever. Um, so yeah, this is the Sonic the Hedgehog watch. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash review slash overview of it. 
Uh, I know there's like a million of these on YouTube, but th this is mine. I want to check it out as a Sonic fan. Um, I'm just disappointed there's no Sonic games on here because that would have been cool. Like, it's a Sonic the Hedgehog watch, so that's what you expect. But nonetheless, it's cool. Um, yeah, get it, don't get it. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.